Hello, I'm just that guy, and if you're a voice in my head, then you know about the egos of Sean. Now, these egos of mine, they reside in a realm, but that realm has been stolen. The sanctity of peace between my mind and my other egos has gone crazy. So, me, me, and me are going to work together and play Stolen Realm to get our realm back. Now, I've already made the, the three, the three egos have already presented themselves. That Goy, which is me, Sean, which is me, and Redacted, she is also me. But there can only be one Sean at a time. So, that's why she is redacted. What the... Um... Okay. Uh, well, obviously, getting back the realm of Sean's is a very torturous experience. So, why not get in here and play? What is... Okay. So, quick thing about this game is, I have played it before, but it's been a while, and clearly there have been many updates since then. So, this is kind of all a new experience for me. Well, some things are similar, I guess. Uh, placement phase... Okay, I guess I should introduce the abilities of me's. So first of all, I, Thetgoy, am a Shadow Knight. So I can hit people with a stick and use shadow magic, apparently. Sean, me, is a thief. So I can poison you and go invisible and steal your stuff. And then Redacted, she's a healer. Because I needed a healer in my party. And so she gets to be one. I don't... Uh, okay. Let's see here. Pretty clear chance. Maximum health. Uh, damage increased. Can't really use any of these shrines. Uh, alpha there, alpha there. Okay. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna put my healer way on the back. I'm gonna put... I guess my healer. I'm gonna put me in the back. Put... Thief me. Here, I guess... No, no. I want Thief Me and, Sh and Shadow Knight Me to start here. Then they can whack once and then run into the Aura of Healing. Okay. I'm okay with this. Oh, I guess... Oh, wait. Uh, um... I know what I'll do. I'll cast Shield of Light on Sean. I'll make Sean attack and then run away there and then go invisible. And then that to go I will also do the same thing run away oh and the attack of opportunity was already taken oh my god I'm so intelligent uh, the last thing I need to do is get redacted away 
and yeah. Oh, wow. This is a lot. Uh, I just realized none of my dudes really have. None of me has any AOE stuff. Oh, and that one's gonna heal HP. Damn! They're fucking tech going up. I think it's maybe worth taking the opportunity checks. <laughs> oh, maybe it wasn't. I can't get back into the. Okay. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Get this. Go here. Fuck you, game. All right. I'm. Hmm. Do I have any potions? I do. Okay. That makes things pretty chill. However, I'm going to get rid of two of the opportunity attacks so that the so that that goy can go get this. Hell yeah! I don't need to use my potions. Oh, is that guy coming for the kill? Oh, woof. Let's go. Nothing quite like being up some random forest creatures and getting these things. All right. With a reality bending laugh that echoes within your mind, the mistress of chaos unfurls her invitation. Her voice is a melody spun of whispers, a coaxing thread of discord woven into your thoughts. It tastes like temptation, like curiosity, like a gamble against fate. Such a dull little toy you are, she coos, her words a twisted lullaby. Always playing it safe, always towing the line. Where's the spark, the flame, the thrill? Let's make things more entertaining, shall we? Okay, so I can take... So basically all that yapping that I wasn't really listening to meant I can rather take a regular battle or probably a harder battle but get rewards out of it. To which I say, The air yes. around you seems to charge, the very atmosphere bristling as the Mistress of Chaos lets out a delighted laugh. Oh, excellent. This will be most entertaining. She purrs, her voice swirling around you, weaving an insidious promise into your mind. Okay. My mind's already got so many woven promises in it, so I don't think one more really matters. Hey, what the... How... What the... Am I disabled? I am. At least I don't like need to use my potions. Apparently not. Okay. Drink this so that I can heal that joy. And well. Yeah. Redacted, you're gonna have to take some aggro. Or apparently not. <gasps> oh my god. That guy, what the fuck? Alright, well. Yeah, let me cleanse the debuffs. Oh. oh, I 
I want him to die now. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um I can't use potions I don't need outside to use of battle. my potion. I see. With a reality bending laugh that echoes within your mind, the mistress of chaos unfurls her invitation. Her voice is a melody spun of whispers. I'm not doing this again. A coaxing thread of discord woven into your thoughts. It tastes like temptation. The mistress it's of already chaos a hard seems battle. to linger I do a moment not longer. The mistress Her of chaos to add more meowship to it. Well, we can start in the lifesteal shrine then. What is this? Frost barrel. I know what I must do. I'm so intelligent. They kill me. Too bad he's dead, though. Ha, ha, ha. ha I knew I should have brought more potions. Yeah, you didn't bring any, actually. Ooh, treasure. Always gotta go for the treasure. Bladed buckler. Worth. Dexterity. Yaw. And more dexterity. Awesome. You stand in awe of the towering statue of the Conqueror, cast in finely hewn stone and bathed in celestial light. He is known well in the Stolen Realm, a legend whispered about in awe and veneration. His pose is one of undeniable valor, his mighty weapon held aloft, as if beckoning the armies of the world to follow in its wake. A figure of myth and history, a man who made all the Stolen Realm kneel to his glory. Well, he sounds kind of like a douche, so now I'm ill-prepared for this boss fight. Yeah, like, right now. Oh. Oh, Shion's in some trouble. Dumbass. Aha! Felled the bandits. We are one step closer to regaining the realm of Shans. Now that I actually geared my people rather than just collecting stuff and ignoring it. A gnarled goblin, thin and aged, sits hunched over a crackling blue fire. He hums softly, a low melodic chant that seems to echo within the flames. The goblin lifts his gaze to meet yours. His eyes hold the weight of centuries, but there is a spark of wisdom there, a knowing that surpasses the mere comprehension of time. Okay. Your ancestors, he rasps, his voice like the crackling of dry leaves. Nice. They wish to speak with you. Will you pay the price to hear them? My ancestors are also Shans. And, you know, if I'm going to reunite the realm of Shans, might as well... The goblin draws a small, sharp blade from his rags and offers it. You take it, your heart pounding in your chest as you slice a shallow cut across your palm, the crimson droplets hissing as they fall into the blue flames. Nice. Part of your spirit now, the sage demands next, his hands moving in a complex pattern over the fire. You take a deep breath, a sense of foreboding washing over you. Will you sacrifice? Oh my god, this. 
A sharp pain follows shan. as the goblin chants over the fire, the flame flaring brightly as it claims a portion of your spirit. The sensation is strange, like a piece of you is being torn away, leaving an empty space in its wake. Yeah. With the final act, the sage begins to chant, his words twisting Whoa. and turning in the air like the spiraling smoke Wait. above the fire. As the sage's voice grows louder, you feel a power washing over you. Then, quite suddenly, the cave is filled with whispers, ethereal and ancient. The elder shots. You recognize them. The voices of your ancestors. They speak of hardships and triumphs, love and sacrifice. Their voices are soft, their message is powerful, and their wisdom invaluable. Wow. So I actually got something out of this. I thought after giving my health and mana, the goblin would ask for, like, gold to conjure it up, and then in the end it's just like, Ha! You are fooled! Alright, I'll just believe that. That's good. I'm gonna take a not hard battle because I just lost all of my livelihood. I'm free. E okay, maybe that was a bit of an easy fight. Although I did have to use a whole bunch of potions. But I guess, uh, I guess it did, uh, kind of... I did kind of have no HP and mana going into it, so... The deadly saw trap lays an ominous sight before you. Iron teeth, worn but sharp, glint menacingly, eager to taste the flesh of any careless intruder. The contraption roars with life, its blade screaming through the air, cutting a lethal path along its tracks. Who will attempt to disarm the deadly trap? You know, I can just walk around this thing. It's in, like, the middle of the desert. I don't... Can I just, like... Like, I literally walked by it, walked around it to go get the treasure. And then came back here to come and do this. So. Duration for. Oh, goodness. Alright, Sean. You have a plus zero. Reflex roll bonus. Oh. Well, it's probably fine. Yeah. In a daring attempt, the hero waits until the saw is at its furthest and then throws himself towards the mechanism. His hand shoots out, his fingers grasping for the small lever that controls the infernal device. The saw whirls towards him, a storm of death closing in. At the last possible moment, his fingers find purchase, and with a swift yank, the machinery groans, falters, and then ceases. The saw, inches from carving into his side, stutters and then stills, Wow. Again, now you could have just gone around it, but I guess... Cool, thanks for the experience. The Sun Queen. Attacks have a 20% chance to stun the target. Ooh. Well, if I'm in this area, then... Hee haw, hee hee haw. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, put him here, but... There, put her there. Okay. Flip, flip, flip. Beep, flop, flop. Beep. Beep. Ah. Let me see if I can. St <laughs> You're stunned. You can't do anything. Drink a mana potion. Well, if the boss is stunned, then I don't really need to do much. Come on, get stunned. It'd be so awesome. It'd be so cool. Get stunned. I don't think I can stun multiple times. 
power of the sun is in the palm of my hand. Uh, how about we kill the power of the sun? <laughs> Yeah, get rid of the power of the sun. And... Ooh. Rise, guardian. Defend your queen. Shit, boy. Did you summon another sun? God damned you. Okay. Now that the ancient guardians are out of the way, it's back to just wailing on the good old sun queen I know I am stealthy yeah I don't know what happened last time that I became unstealthy generate uh, shield heal there what I just got rid of <laughs> I just got rid of the ancient guardians. Why is there more? Yo, they are beating on that guy right now. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Just killed himself. Damn you and you're resisting being stunned. You're still stunned. Classic. I think I got all this heal and shielding ready. Get that up. Get seal protection down. So, we're just on redacted. Get another action. Heal. Hit. Hit. Want. That. It's not supposed to be a basic attack, but whatever. Just armor. Oh, fuck. That makes things a lot less easy. want to make sure that thing dies. Okay. What the fuck? And he's fucking stunned again. Alright. Let's deal with this goddamn sun queen. I don't think I can deal with the Radiant Orb. I think I just have to let it happen. Do not kill him. Holy shit. Okay. Ghost armor. Maybe stun one of them. Nope, that's okay. Wonder what this orb does. <laughs> Kill this goddamn sun. Okay. So apparently the minions on this one disappear when I kill the boss first. Well, Sun Queen ain't shit. 